Hey, this is Gar and Ann from Together Somewhere, and guess where we're going this weekend? We are going up to the Kennedy Space Center uh, up in uh, northern Florida, right on the ocean. It's about a three hour drive for us, and we're about halfway there. Uh, today also we're hoping to get a glimpse of a SpaceX which is going to, is that the name? SpaceX? Yeah. yeah. SpaceX which is going to be uh, launched today so hopefully that will be part of the tour we're on. It's going to be about a four hour tour so it should be a lot of fun. Uh, so you know we'll see you up there in about an hour and a half. If you like this video be sure to subscribe and smack that thumbs up for us to show us you like the video and if you want to get our videos on a regular basis in other words every time we get a video out you want to be notified of it be sure to uh, hit that bell as well so we'll see you up there in about an hour and a half and uh, let's enjoy the Kennedy Space Center together so here's where we're walking in and we're hoping around 10.30 to walk out this area. And if we stand in this area, we'll be able to see the launch at around 11.30 today. So this is the whole area that we're going to be walking in today on the tour. And we have to wear uh, face masks. Look at that rocket. Ooh, that thing is huge. You excited? I am stoked. <laughs> Even though we have to wear masks. Okay, so we're entering the Heroes and Legends Hall. Please move. This is famous. She's the first one. The we want to improve that ability on Jeopardy. Look at the size of this rocket. It just goes on and on. Let's look inside. Ooh, look how small it is inside there. Let's keep on going. It's going, it's going, it's going. This is one large space. One large spacecraft, and here we are at the end. This is actually the Mercury Control Center. These are actually the same depths and everything all put into one room. This is a statue of Alan Shepard, the first American in space, and the Astronaut Hall of Fame behind him. Okay, get a picture of you. Okay, so we're about to walk through this area here, the Atlantis building, and we're going to go out the other end and we're going to be looking at the uh, SpaceX launch, which is supposed to take place in less than an hour. So we're going to get in position there and hopefully we can get some great pictures for you. So we waited here for about one hour for the SpaceX space launch to take 50 satellites into space, but it was canceled 15 minutes before launching. And so now we're at this really moving monument that, sh that uh, shows the people that gave the, gave the ultimate sacrifice, being astronauts. We see their pictures here, and right over here we see this beautiful, looks like, uh, granite monument with their names and, and embossed in it. So here's a prototype of a moon and probably a Mars uh, vehicle for exploration. This is the Nature and Technology building and it basically shows 
sort of American history and Florida history and how things led up to the purchase of the land here, which is about 120 acres right on the ocean. As you can see, Florida became the 27th state back in 1845. It was bought by Andrew Jackson. Anyways, so uh, we'll show you some pictures as we go through here. Some interesting shots of when things happened and how the U.S. evolved. This is, talks about the Kennedy Space Center. It's located on, on a barrier island called Merritt Island, about 34 miles long. It was bought, I think, in around uh, 1960 or maybe 1958 in that area. This just gives a glimpse of, so look how big the area here is. It's huge. This is all Merritt Island. This is all um, Cape Canaveral and Kennedy Space Center. You think he can fit in? Yes, I can fit in. All right, go, go on, get in. <laughs> nice try. From planet Earth to Mars. In the future, your dream of space travel could be a reality for more people than ever before. And in the next couple of decades, commercial space transportation has the power to change our world in ways not seen since the dawn of aviation over a century ago. One thing is for sure, we are going to need creative thinkers and problem solvers like you to help us in this incredible journey of exploring space. All stations verified. It was a nightmare. Get back in the spacecraft. Today, I'm going to the moon to stay by 2024. And this is how. This all starts with the ability to get larger, heavier payloads off planet and beyond Earth's gravity. For this, we design an entirely new rocket, the Space Launch System. SLS will be the most powerful rocket ever developed. And with components in production and more in testing, this system is capable of being the catalyst for deep space missions. We need a capsule that can support humans from launch through deep space and return safely back to Earth. So here we are in the shuttle launch experience building. Look how big the space shuttle, Atlantis space shuttle looks, and here's the bottom of it. The space shuttle it has a height of 122 feet. It's spent over, and here are the rocket boosters in the back, pretty massive. The shuttle spent over 300 days in space. And look at this payload. The payload could handle over 65,000 pounds when going up to the space station. And here is the cockpit. It's pretty big inside. Just taking a look at that, how it's, what it looks like from the inside. Hey mate, why don't you land so we can talk? Ann and I want to talk to you. Okay, so we just got back in the car. We got here at nine o'clock this morning. It's almost five. So we've been in here, you know what, uh, eight hours straight. Uh, this Kennedy Space Center is really incredible. There's a lot to see. Um, I would say the downside today is because it's, uh, you know, COVID time. Uh, some of the main attractions where you could actually have interactions with people uh, were closed. For instance, you get to meet an astronaut. We didn't get to do that. Uh, you get to take a bus around the lot. We didn't get to do that. You get to go to the actual lift that takes you up to uh, the astronauts up to get actually getting on the space shuttles. 
we couldn't do that. And uh, lastly, there was, oh, there's a train the astronauts exhibit that we really wanted to see that was shut also. With that saying, we had so much other things to, to do and see. There were lots of videos to watch or several uh, sort of walk through museums to go through. And this will all be in, uh, as, as you know, it's in this video. Um, the, the one I would go to first if you're on just a simple tour is go in the Atlantis Museum first because it's the most fun. You get to see all about the history of the space shuttle and you actually get to see a space shuttle hanging from the ceiling in its full glory and the things are huge. You also get to go on a, a space shuttle simulation which is a lot of fun. We couldn't take pictures in it because they don't allow you to take, take cameras because there's a little bumpiness in there but it's a lot of fun. So with that said uh, I hope you love this video. If you do smash the thumbs up uh, definitely subscribe so you can see our videos that are going to come out uh, at least once a week from now on and also uh, be sure to hit the bell. So with that said, we'll travel again next week. Bye-bye.